Jay Tay, what up, big homie? What's up, what's up? How you doing? I'm good, bro. How you feeling? I'm good, I'm good. Can't complain. I hear you, man. How you how you holding up during this pandemic, man? You in the fam straight? Yeah, I'm doing good, man. Just taking a day at a time, trying to stay safe, trying to stay healthy, you know. Yeah. Okay. Hey, man, I appreciate you joining me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Definitely was a fan of your game coming up. So, like I said, I appreciate you for joining me. I know you're a little busy, man, so I ain't going to hold you too long. No, nah, it's all good. I appreciate you, man, for real. Uh, You know, okay, so we're going to start off with, you know, for you, bro, just talk about, you know, your upbringing, you know what I'm saying, you got any siblings and, you know, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, I was born and raised in Chicago, uh, south side of Chicago, southeast side of Chicago. Uh, I got a, I had a single mom growing up, you know, she – Can't hear you, Brody. Can't hear you. Let me see. All right, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, what uh what'd you last hear? Uh all I heard was you had a single mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Single mom. Uh, I got a little sister. Uh, yeah. Just a, a small family, you know. Just been grinding since I was a kid, you know. And then, you know, to uh, play at a high level at college, and now playing overseas, and just yeah. you know to get, you know, do for the fam. Facts, facts. I hear you on that. Uh, you know, we're gonna get right into the questions. You know, some of these I'm gonna kind of put you on the spot. You know, so right. see what you see what you say. All uh, right. So the, the first one I always start off with is uh, who is the goat? MJ, Kobe, or Braun, and then put them in order. Unless you got a different goat, you know, everybody's easy, different. Easy. I'm going to say MJ, Kobe, yeah. and Braun, you know. Yeah. In, yeah, for sure. MJ, without him, it wouldn't be no Kobe. wouldn't be yeah. no Braun, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I always liked Kobe growing up. You know, that was my first player, so, yeah. Thanks. Okay. Uh, you got a favorite NBA player right now in the league? Like, who you Ooh. watching right now? I ain't going to lie. D-Rose always going to be the neighborhood hero. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I love D-Rose. Other than that, uh, right now, ooh, that's tough. I, I, I'll have to say Dang. Yeah. I like Dang. I, li I like Dang time. I ain't going to lie. That's he cold. Yeah. When you, yeah. Was, when you was hooping, bro, and you was coming up, who was you yeah. watching? Who was you watching film on pretty much? Like, you know, your highlights yeah. and stuff that you was like, all right, I'm going to take that move or I'm going to try that. Uh, D Rose, man. Yeah. D Rose, watching it as a kid growing up in Chicago. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Just try to imitate my game off him. You know, I love the way he played. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and I always wanted to be like him. I grew up, so I always, you know, watched him. Okay. Um, give me your top five players right now in the league. Everybody healthy. The league? Okay. Yep. Bron. Everybody healthy. No injuries. Yep. Okay. Brian, KD. Yeah. Uh, Kawhi, Steph, and I'm gonna go AD. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I rock with that. Um, <laughs> you got a favorite basketball moment? You got a favorite basketball moment in your career? Uh, I'll say, uh, probably, I got three of them. My first one is winning. State, my first state championship mm -hmm. in high school. Went in state. Yeah. Second one, I hit a, uh, a game winner when I was in Europe, my first year in Europe. Hit a game winner. Won a uh, rip against yeah. no one team in the league. Hit a game winner. And then okay. third, I think, when I was a freshman in high school, my first 30 point game. Ooh, was, yeah, okay. was, yeah, yeah. So that was, that was, that was nice. I like, yeah, for sure. He was a, so you played. Did you play freshman? Freshman? Yeah. No, I played on varsity all four years. All four years. Okay. Yeah, you yeah, nice yeah. with it. <laughs> uh, the most the most points you ever scored in the game. You could do uh, pro am, high school, whatever you want to do. Uh, in the pro am game, I had forty. Forty in the pro am game. Yeah. What you? Ooh. Was that was that like, one the one last year or no? Yeah, it was like, yeah, two songs ago. 
two songs ago. Yeah. So it wasn't the Madsen one, right? The one you just played in last nah, year? No, it, 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 it was Madsen. Yeah, it was Madsen. Yeah, that was two. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't this yeah, last yeah. song. That was two years ago. Yeah. That's okay. Man, I was just, yeah, yeah. I was high. I was high. I couldn't miss. <laughs> I'm mad, bro. I wanted to go to that. I wanted to go there too. It, it was a whole bunch of y'all in that tournament, bro. I wanted oh, to go yeah. so bad. It's, it's lit. Shout out to them, man. They they real organized and professional. Yeah. Shout out to yeah. them. Facts. Uh, you got a favorite teammate? I know that's kind of difficult, man. Playing so many different levels. Oh man. Uh, if you got if you got one for each level, you know what I'm saying that make it easier for you. Or if you just got that one, like you know what I'm saying, all time can't nobody beat it. All time, I say I had a lot of great teammates, man. Yeah. A lot of great teammates. But as far as, like, just being, like, that great glue guy and, mm-hmm. like, every single day, no matter what, uh, when I was at Illinois, Nana Egu, our center. Uh, oh, yeah. Sec- he was the second next high school. Yeah. yeah. He was uh, – yeah, he was, he, was, he was a great teammate. Gotcha, sure. gotcha. So how did that come about? Just, you know what I'm saying, guard big? Was it one of them? or was Yeah, it one like... of those. And then just like day one, he was only all all the time. Yeah. You know, he, no matter who went out the night before, he was the first one in the gym, the loudest one in the gym. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Just a great role model, always positive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just right. a great teammate. Yeah. Um, you know, this one. As a hooper, bro, you know, we always got that hooper that we hate playing against. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We know it's going to be a battle. Who is uh-huh. that one person for you where you know, like, I got to come with it? If not, he going to expose my ass. Uh, <laughs> uh, man. Actually, I think he watching right now. Phil Green. That's my dog. Well, oh, like, yeah. Yeah, we go at it, though. That's, that's, the, that's the big homie. And we go at it all the time. Shout out to Phil. Yeah, feel nice. I heard about him, dude. I think I heard about him, dude, like one of my homies or something like that. Yes, he went to yes, St. John's, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he nice. He took a long time. That's a big, big bro. Um, you got a favorite coach? I know that's kind of hard, man. <laughs> uh, I'll, t- I'll say Coach Rob. Coach Rob Smith. That's him. Yeah. He yep. was his – man, he was his player's coach. Yeah. Player's coach, man. Love him. Love so him how, did, how did y'all relationship kind of form, you know? I know pretty much the guard is like, you know, the leader of the team. So was he on you yeah. from the beginning? You know what I'm saying? So, he played varsity all four years. So I know he definitely saw something in you. So like was he just like motivating you, you know what I'm yeah. saying, giving you the game? Always. He he always, you know, he kept it real, no matter yeah. what. Like good or bad, he kept it real. You know, he didn't let you settle, pushing you all the time. And you know, that relationship grew off the court. We still talk to this day. You know, I'm real close to him and his yeah. kids. So it it was more than a player coach relationship. Yeah, facts. Do you still you still go back and work out with him? Yeah, I, I do. I do. I still go to the school every now and then. It's hard now because uh, you know the corona stuff, but yeah, I, I get in there when I can. Okay, I respect that. Um, I know you. You know, what I'm saying I kind of asked you this, but like, do you got an actual like favorite highlight play? You know, what I'm saying like you hit a couple game winners or something, or, or a body or a crossover or something like yeah. that. I know one of my highlight tastes in high school, I, I dunked on somebody. You know, I don't do that too often, so that was, yeah. like, the highlight for sure. <laughs> that was definitely the highlight. Definitely. You, you remember what that was against, though? Oh, man, I don't even remember. It was against one of our high school, like, conference games, you know. Okay. I can't remember who it was. I think, like, Carver or something like that. I don't even it was know. At, it was at the crib? Yeah, it was, at, it was a home game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, I know the gym went yeah. crazy then. Oh, yeah, it was turn. It was lit. All I got <laughs> was lit, so it was definitely turn. Facts. Um, for you, big bro, kind of talk about like when did you like when did you actually fall in love with the game and when was yeah. it actually presented to you? Yeah, so uh, I think like around third grade, uh, mm-hmm. I start yeah, I start getting around it. But honestly, you know, I was just doing it just because, just to stay out of trouble. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It, it was it was just fun to do. And I saw how good I was getting, so I started really taking it serious. And then at that point, that's when I saw like high schools was recruiting me. Yeah. And then, you know, I just started working from there. Yeah, facts. So, like, who was that one person for you that put the ball in your hand? Or was it just OG. like, yeah, he was just, okay. Was she, a, was she a hooper? No, nah, she didn't. But uh, she was always around the game. My uh, bi- biological dad, he's the hoop. He was real okay. cold in the city back okay. in the day. So, yeah. Yeah, it kind of was in the bloodline, dude. Yeah, for sure. Got you. Okay. Uh. For you, you know, what's something that you had to, like, overcome in life that you proud of today that you overcame? You know what I'm saying? That made you the man you are now. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I think just getting into that little situation I got to in college, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I ain't got to really speak too much on it, but yeah. if you know, you know. Uh, just going through that, it just, you know, some uh, just, just get through adversity. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I ain't nothing ever been given to me. I always have to work for everything. So that's all it is, man. And just, you know, being on the south side of Chicago growing up, yeah, like you you see how it is out here. That's all the motivation you need for real. Yeah, coming from the trenches for real. For sure. Uh, okay, so like the next one I got for you is for you, you know what I'm saying, playing on like the, the three levels. Uh -huh. For you, how was each level and how was they different and how did you have to mature for each different level? Because, like, you know, for high school, <laughs> man, it's pretty much like it's on you if you go to practice. If you don't, you, sure. may, you probably ain't going to play the game. You play the sure. next game or whatever, you're going to lose your spot. For College sure. is like you got to grind for it. Like, that's the real test right there. The, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The waist, the class, the lifting. The, like, it's an all-day process for you. Yeah. And then the pro is kind of like. It's on you. Like, if you don't put the work in, it's somebody behind you going to take your spot. Man, and that's just you, on you. Man, you took the words right out of my mouth. So, like, honestly, like, high school, you know what I'm saying? It's a different generation now. So, back then, high school was tough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, high school ball was tough. But uh, just each level is just mm -hmm. thinking the game. That's the main thing. You got to work. Yeah. And thinking the game at the next level is really what's going to take you there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Everything is quicker, faster, um, more stronger, aggressive. You know what I'm saying? So, really, you just got to put that work in, man. That's all it is. You work, yeah. you're going to be straight. Yeah. I know a lot of my homies that hoop, man, they said, like, college ball, they almost wanted to quit. It was so tough. Yeah. Was yeah, that, was that you, you first when you first got there? Was it's it kind of like, yeah. Man, I ain't going to lie. Like, when I first got to college, dog, it was like, man, I ain't know it was going to be like this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Having two, three workouts a day, lifting weights. You know, we didn't lift weights in high school like that. We just hooped. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You got workouts, practice, lift, study hall, class, traveling, all all every day. All Film, day. all that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You miss some holidays because you got school, no things to give and stuff like that. It's a grind for sure. Yeah. Uh, for you, how was your recruiting process? You know, it could be a, it could be a, a bad thing or a good thing. But for you, mm -hmm. did you enjoy it? And what were some of the schools that was talking to you? Yeah, it was a roller coaster. Um, I think, yeah, like my first, like my sophomore year is when, like, when I stopped when I was, like, one of the top point guards in the country. Mm -hmm. I was getting all types of, you know, offers and looks and stuff like that. And, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's, a, it's a competition, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of yeah. guys commit, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's a grind. Uh, yeah. But it, it worked. I feel like it worked out. At the end of the day, I had no regrets. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Everything happens for a reason, so, yeah. What were some of the schools that was talking to you? Man, I talked to a lot. <laughs> Man, over the years, Xavier, Illinois, a lot yeah. of Big Ten schools, UCLA, USC, mm -hmm. um, Michigan State. Uh, man, it's a, it's, a, it's a long list throughout yeah. the whole high school career. So Yeah. So you went to, you know what I'm saying, you stayed, you stayed home, man. Yeah. What, you know, what ultimately led to that, to that decision for you to stay home? Man, it was a lot of toy. You know, my boy Kendrick Nunn, you know, played for the Heat. He's shout out a, K Nunn. Shout out K Nunn. He's a big reason on why I stayed. You know, he he won. We had good chemistry in high school. We good friends till this day. Um, yeah. you know, and then just you know to stay at the crib, first your home state. You know that yeah. a lot of people don't get that opportunity. You know, Illinois is a great school all around academically. You know, yeah. just uh, the alumni is crazy. So it's yeah. like after. Uh, basketball is going to be straight, so yeah, I, I liked it when I got there. Okay, respect that. Uh, for you, I know you said you play overseas, I know somebody kind of beat me to it, but like uh, for you, how did you adapt to life? You know, not in the states as far as the culture, the food, the language, the man. time zone. How did you How did you adapt to it? How long did it take you to actually adapt to I'm it? I'm not gonna lie, that's probably the biggest, that's the hardest thing, you know, um, yeah. just adapting to that culture. That's the hardest thing, like you know. Being seven hours ahead, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, you know, people not speaking English, yeah. different food. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just learning your way around a whole new country yeah. for nine months. You know what I'm saying? It's like how the bubble, uh, how like the NBA, you know, it, it, it's a grind for sure. It's hard. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Just as long as you stay humble, disciplined, work hard. You know what I'm saying? And it's just all about situation at the end of the day, honestly. Yeah.
You try some food out there that you never tried at the crib? Man, I had no choice, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to starve. What, was, what, was no you, what they had you eating on out there, bro? Man, goat, reindeer. Oh, all man. Of stuff, man. I ain't going to lie. It was decent, though. So it was decent. Yeah. You know, so it was decent. But you said it was decent because it was good, or you said it was decent because you had to eat it. You had to make yourself think that. Both. <laughs> 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 yeah okay um this question bro i'm like super excited to, to ask you this mm-hmm. everybody from chicago that i asked this as a hooper they kind of stumble on this a little bit so yeah i'm trying to i'm trying to see what you're gonna say right so you're gonna create a team so five uh-huh. people from uh-huh. chicago all the time one uh-huh. through five uh-huh. what who are your five that you rocking with Some Me. people, some people been taking KG, so I will give you KG. I can't, you know. What I'm saying? No, I, I can't, I can't throw KG on that. Okay. Uh, D Rose. Yeah. K Nine. Yep. Javari. Yep. Uh, ooh. K Nine. You say you? Oh, you said D Rose, K Nine, Javari. Javari. Okay. I'm gonna say. Ass is tough. Yeah, that that four five I'll be say, hard. I'm say I'm say Isaiah, Isaiah Thomas. Okay. And oh, this is tough, man. Yeah, that five. I want, I want to say one of the old heads, like you know. Mari Sawyer. Ooh, okay. Yeah, you you going with a killer a killer lineup then. Mari Sawyer, dog. I'm taking Mari in there. Yeah. And you know, you can it's a lot it's so many, dog. You can say A D. Yep. You can say D Way. It's so many, dog. It's it's tough. It's Man, tough, Chicago bro. got so many killers, it's bro. Tough. It's crazy. It's tough. Yeah. You know, I, I gotta throw my guys in there too. Facts. Uh give me your top five all time rappers, bro. <laughs> all time or Chicago? All, no, all time. And then next I'm gonna ask you your current. So all, all right. time who all you rock time, with. Jay Z. Pop. Yup. V I G. Yup. Uh Nas and Eminem. Ooh, I got it. Okay, I gotta ask you, bro. What yes, where Wayne at? Where Wayne at? Oh dog, you know what? <laughs> oh man. I'm Wayne at that too. Wayne, Wayne at that six spot okay. coming in. Wayne, no, nah, six. Wayne in there. Nah, six. Okay. 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 All right, man. There we go. All right, now your top five current rappers you rock with. Uh, I'll throw Drake in there. You know, he got <laughs> Drake. Yeah, Drake, definite. Uh, Dirk. I rock yep. with Dirk hard. I listen yep. to Dirk every day. Dirk. Yep. Uh, look, baby. Yup. Look, baby. Uh, future. Yup. How many is that so far? That's four, I think. Future. And that last one he rocking over with. Oh, who I'm listening to? You want me to go to the playlist? <laughs> uh, uh, man. You rock with Young Boy? Uh, he alright. He alright. He alright. And the Young Boy hot right now. Uh, uh, Roddy Rich hot. G Herbo like hot. Roddy. Yeah, Herb. Rod Wave. Yeah, Herb. Herb. <laughs> Herb. Easy. Herb. <laughs> He said, "I'm tweaking." I'm tweaking her. Okay. Um, sure. give me your favorite hoop shoe of all time. Kobe's. It's not even close. Which ones? Uh. Oh, which ones? I ain't gonna lie. I wear they, any Kobe, they, dog. Yeah, they all cold. I wear any. That's that's one shoe I will wear any one. All only cold. ones I don't like is the ones that come up to like your calf. I don't yeah, know which one. That's the only one. That's the only one. I like yeah, all Kobe's though. Okay. Like all okay. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite city to play in besides the crib? New York. Yeah, New I would York. say it's always between New York and LA, probably. New York, New York, yeah. dog, because it's like it's like another Chicago. Facts. It's like another Chicago, New York. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite song right now, bro? You getting like I said, you in the whip? You about to, you know what I'm saying? When the podcast ends, you know, like, all right, bet it's time to play my music now. The first <laughs> song you playing. First song, Lil Dirk when we shoot. Oh yeah, okay. 
You stick it's it to the cut. stick it to the crib. So I cut. Yeah. I thought that I thought that on all day. All day. All day. I'm, I'm listening to that all day. It's not even close. So what's your game day playlist? Is it are you straight rap uh, or you mix I, it up a little nah, bit? R and B. I mix it up. Yeah. I, I mix it up, dog. R and B, rap, gospel. You know, okay. just motivational stuff. Got you. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. for you, I man, like a lot of old. I like a lot of old school music too. Like Motown or like rap. Like 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 eighties, nineties, hip hop, R and B. Got you. Okay. Yeah. That that throwback. Yeah, for sure. Um. For you, bro, what was some advice that somebody gave you when you was coming up? You know, rather it be hooping or just general life that you would give to the younger generation, rather they be hoopers or just coming up from Chicago, you know what I'm saying, the trenches pretty much. Yeah. Um, I think just about OG, man. Like, just she's always told me, like, no matter what the circumstances are, just stay positive. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Everything has for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, Everything could always be worse. Yeah. That that's just you you can just take that with anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you wake yeah. up, got a bad day, like somebody might have cancer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. just stay positive. That's all I like positive energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're perfect. We go through stuff. Just, yeah. you know, positivity. Gotcha. Respect that. And then the, the last one sure. I got for you, big bro the last one I got for you, big bro, is who you think I should have on here next? You know what I'm saying? Rather they be Hoopers, you know what I'm saying, from the crib, somebody you played with in college, overseas, just to, you know what I'm saying, because I had Fabian on yesterday, bro, and he was explained it perfectly, like, um, like as Hoopers, bro, as fans, we don't know what y'all go through, you know what I'm saying, yeah. besides what you sh what you show us and you post, you know what I'm saying, so like, uh -huh. I'm trying to help get y'all a story out to help motivate the youth, you know what I'm saying, because they next, uh -huh. so like, yeah. you know what I'm saying, who you think would come on here and give a good game to the, to the youth? Uh, man. Oh, man. Somebody sorry. said me. It's a big music. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dog. Try out the rice. That's my dog. That's my dog right there. Uh, like another hooper. Uh, man, I'm trying to think right now. I seen y'all got Rello coming on. Yeah, I got him. What Monday? Okay, yeah, got yeah. Him That's Monday. A good one. I see y'all got Rello. Shout out to Rello. Uh, I was trying to think. Uh, it's tough because it's a lot of dogs out here. It's a lot yeah. of dogs out here. Yeah. Um, mm. Oh, you got me on spot. This one. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you, hey, you good, bro? If you could think of some or somebody, or you know what I'm saying, if I can, you know, yeah, come up I with somebody, just, I can just yeah. shoot that to you. Bet, so. bet, bet. Hey, like I said, I appreciate you for joining me, big bro. Stay safe, yeah. keep grinding. Hey, you, y'all hooping this year? No. Yeah, yeah. Might do the G League this year. Okay. All right. Yeah, like I said. Yeah. Good luck on that, man. Hopefully, y'all can have some fans, bro. I'm going to need some tickets sure. if y'all do. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just, just hit me. You know, we're all, right. all good. For sure. For sure. Hey, stay safe, big bro. Stay locked all in, love. man. All love, bro. Y'all holler at you. All love. Take care. All right.